Hey. Put the bat away. Put the bat away. Hey, dude, put it down, man. Put the bat away. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Relax. Put the, relax. Put the bat away. Put the bat away. Hey. Hey, hey, relax. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hi, how you doing? Not bad. Hi, Well, here's the deal, guys. We're looking for a 97 Tahoe. Um, the car's been out for repo for a year. Um, they had a skip tracer on it. A year? Looks, a year, man. So it looks like they found the address. Damn. The guy's name is Tony Barrera, uh, AKA Joker. What does that tell us? He's a gangbanger? The guy's a gangbanger. So here's the problem, guys. This is why I don't like these kind of ranches, because there's only one way in and one way out, as you can see. Not only that, these guys, they carry weapons, you know, they carry rifles. They think they can do whatever they want on their property. You know, they have their own law. Even though they're in the state of California, that's just the way that they come across. So everybody has to be vigilant. And uh, if they start shooting, jump behind Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt, you are the best. Watch me outrun, he don't want <coughs> watch, watch me outrun, he don't want so. Dude, you're the man. <laughs> Well, let me, let me explain something. I hate going to this type of repos where they're in the middle of nowhere. It's been my past experience that every time you go to a place like that, there's always problems. I mean, nobody knows where you are. You know, the, the navigation system won't even show where you are. Oh, I'm getting that feeling in the pit of my stomach. Dude. We're gonna get you, man. I'm getting that feeling right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So he can't afford to make a payment on a car, but he can afford a ranch? No, you know what? It, there's no way he can afford this ranch. This has to be his parents or his grandparents. I bet oh, he just works here. Huh? Um, this work he, this? No. he could work here. Who knows? You know, who knows what he does? But we know this is a, a new address that they found, and this is probably where we're going to get the car at. Well, hopefully. So, hey, man, get in here, man. Let's book and book. Dude, you know, you know, if something happens, they, they wouldn't know where we were for days, man, if something happened to us. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, they bury us. You forget the truck. Under. You forget the truck has a tracking system? That's true, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whenever they decide to travel, I don't, on, man. Me, I don't know why that doesn't make me feel that much better. <laughs> man, I don't even see a house yet. There's nothing around here, bro. There's nothing but mountains. And... Well, apparently they said the guy lives on about 50 acres. Uh, in this business, you never know what's going to happen. It's not like bounty hunting where they know what the hell they're gonna get into. We have no idea what we're getting into. Well, I think it'd be sticking in a barn somewhere. Yeah. We're about to find out, gentlemen. We're about to find out. Are you scared, Matt? I'm a little, um, I'm a little nervous right now. It's okay, you can get behind me if anything goes wrong. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I was kind of hoping you would say that to me, though. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, we're coming up to a green fence. See, and they think because it says private property and we go on it, they can shoot us. You know, this ain't Texas. What, is that, what, what does it say, Herrera? What is it? Oh, that's the guy's ranch. Is the guy's ranch? All right, check it out. I put my Man, there's a lot of cars here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. We get to the ranch and uh, sure enough, there's cars everywhere. What does that tell me? It's a lot of people there. A lot of people, a lot of guns. Who knows? Okay, well, listen, we're gonna go around the gate. Okay. Look it. There's gonna be a lot of people yeah, here, Yeah, there's bro. a lot of people here, man. All right, look at all the cars. That's okay. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Look, there's a Tahoe right there. Right. right. I'm gonna pull up. What's that, Lou? That's, that's, that's a that's Suburban. suburban. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna pull up to that, um, to the front of the house. Froy, what I want you to do, brother, just make sure there's nobody on that end. Matt, go vent it. If that's the car, Matt, you need thumbs up, right. and it's hook and book, man. All right, bro. It looked like it was gonna be a, a gimme because the car was right there. I thought we'd be able to get it, hook it up, and boogie out of there before uh, anything went down. Everybody ready? Ready. I don't see anybody yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah.
battery? No battery. Shut up. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Drop it. Got it. Up. What's that? Good. Got it. This thing is broken, bro. Yeah. Make sure the wheel's locked. Okay, okay, okay. Watch your Watch your All of a sudden, man, out of nowhere, we get these two Cholo dudes coming down the hill in this little John Deere car. Calm down, man. Calm down. Put it Do my favor. Relax. Put the, relax. Put the battery. Relax. Put the battery. Relax. Hey, relax. Hey, relax. Hey, relax. Hey, what are you guys doing? Relax. 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 We're hey, we're here to go. Hey, 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 Right, hey, 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 Matt, throw it back up. up. Hey, back up. We just want the car. Listen, we got you on tape, Matt. We don't want any problems. We just relax. Hey, don't point the gun at me. Hey, let's get out of here. Let's go. Put it down. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Easy. Easy, man. Easy. 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 Take off. Take off. Let me take off. Shit, get on. Careful, Luke, careful, careful. Get the f out, drop it Yeah, bro. Let's get out of here. Ultimately, I told the guys just get the hell out of Dodge. So as Matt and I ran to the truck, I already had the truck hooked up. Freud ran to the John Deere to move it out of the way. And as soon as he did, Matt's yelling, go, let's go, let's go. So I put it in drive. I'm looking for Freud, I don't see Freud anywhere. So I'm kind of hesitant, then I see him running. So hey, listen man, I'm speeding out of there. Freud dives through the window. When he does that, these idiots start shooting at us. Now this idiot, he's facing three charges, three counts of assault with a deadly weapon. He's gonna deal with the finance company forever. He's gonna have people up his for the next three years for that stupid little point. And I tell you what, dude, I'm gonna find out when you're going to jail, I'm gonna find out when you're getting out, and I'm gonna wait at Twin Towers the day you get out, and you're gonna deal with me then. Thank God. Woo! All right, man. This is stuff that happens. This is why we have to be prepared. You see what he did to the other windows? Yeah, dude. Let's go check it out. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> like a bunch of jerks, man. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. <laughs> you see? And you were worried about the car not having a battery. I think we need more than that now. Yeah, we'll just be grateful. Oh, the finance right? company's gonna be pissed. Look at Let's be grateful we didn't get shot. Hey, pull look it, at this. It's a bullet ricochet right there. Right here, too. Got two off the truck. Look, you got Another one right here. Okay. Look at that's another one right there. Pull it right there, right there. Oh my God. And then this is where the uh, the reality sets in. That we could have been killed, man. You know, I have kids. Um, you know, I have a family, and I'm just, you know, I was. Uh, I, I thought about it for a quick minute, and it just, it, it really, it really affected me. You know, it really touched me, as I'm sure it touched every, you know, one of my team members. I'm not too happy, you almost left me See, there. Situations like this, man, this is why we need to carry pepper spray and we need to have bulletproof vests just in case. Because these guys, they had no remorse for human life, they could have killed us, man. Yeah. Easy. <clears throat> all right, all right. All right, man, let's get out let's of here. Let's get out of Dodge, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about being around here. The, uh, the fact is, is that, man, listen, this is a rough job. These things happen, you know, and we just have to move on to the next job. Next time, move quicker. <laughs> Dude, I'm 220 pounds. I can only move so much. And you guys were leaving me. Well, I've been repossessing for 10 years, and in those 10 years, I've had at least 30 or 40 guns pointed at me, you know? And at many times, it's been more than just one weapon at a time.
You know what? I, I, I do uh, get guns pulled on me. It's not very often, but when it does happen, it really pisses me off because uh, I've been shot at oh, at least three or four times. I've been hit once. Uh, one time was from this lady. Let me show you where she shot me. She actually shot me right here. It um, actually went through here. Missed Mr. Pokey, thank God. Went through my scrotum, came out the back of my very large rear end. But uh, needless to say, ladies, everything's working perfectly still. Yeah! What's up? <laughs> hey, hey, get your <laughs> up, man. Look at Hey, we got an order for a helicopter, an R44. Hey, you know how much we charge for that. Yeah. Put that in the system. Let's, let's get, hey, we got an order for a helicopter, man. So, <laughs> dude, I need somebody that can handle the situation, man. If the fan, I need you there catching that. Well, today we received a reap order for an R44 Robinson helicopter. Um, the balance was just over $200,000. That's what's a big balance item. Bigness? What? Bigness? Oh, man, yes. This is last thing. Okay, do I need a halo? You know, you, you, you got me just constantly bust about every little thing. You know, I, I swear to God, you know, you know I, I work with everybody else, everybody else, I never have this problem. That's because everybody lets you slide. So, you All right, right, hey, got a control issue. Every time we got to do something, you got a control issue with me. What is it? I'm not married to you, lady. Hey, hey, I, I just work for your you. brother. I don't okay? want to be married to I you. I just okay? work for your brother. Hey, hey, I don't. I'm Matt. not married to you, Matt. Dude, All right, what? Stop. Every time, man. This is what I'm talking you, about. You guys, what are you talking about? Every that? time you kind of bust about this. Hey, so anyway. every time I'm sick of it, Sonia. All right, so you both. Will you shut me up, man? Matt, you're the one that always shuts up. Hey, hey, I'm trying to speak here. Both you guys. It's not the worst to me every day, okay, dude. Let's get. You want to make money? Yeah, you I do. Like this represents in a helicopter, okay? If I need to get somebody else, tell me for I can get them. You know what? You know what? I just kind of like Sonia. Eh, whatever. I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. You know how many times Sonia has tried to fire me or tried to give me crap about the way I handle myself or conduct business? You know. But Lou knows. Lou knows. In the pinch, Big Matt's the guy you want. Jake, you know, do my favor. Why don't you go outside and relax, okay? We're gonna be out of here in about 15 minutes. As soon as she's done with the order. You see? Uh, why, do I, why do I always kind of walk in this? Bro, look, let me, I didn't say anything. The only thing I told him is that do I need a halo? And he gets all touchy, okay? He gets I, I, all touchy. Okay, I don't get it. What you don't get, bro, is that every time you turn around and I happen to make any little comment, right away he has to get I started getting all Mr. Macho on me and start talking and I take it. Okay, look, let me explain something to, to him. To you, and then I'm gonna explain it to him. This is what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna get into a problem. I'm gonna end up firing the guy because you're my sister. Now, I'm gonna hire some other and it's probably gonna be worse. You already know him. He's been working for us for a long time. Deal with it. Why do I gotta walk in? Bro, let me tell you something, okay? He's not a baby, okay? If I tell you, okay. He's not a baby. Oh, he's not a baby, so, so if I say I don't need a halo. You're in management. This is what I'm saying. And? Okay. Does the manager put up with an employee start going off? Because he had a bad okay, night, well, he's tired? Know, then start looking for another one. Okay, then start, start looking, looking for, another, for another, one. another one. Okay, but if he's tired and he's all stressed out and he can't handle it, because this is the problem, he's been working all night, so now he thinks that I should be like a gentle kitten and start purring at anything I have to tell him. Okay, but, but here's, here's my, my point. My point is that I got enough to deal with and my employees got to be playing games like this? Bro, okay, he's the one Do playing. what you got to do okay. just to end it, to stop right. it. I don't care what right, it is. Let's go, let's go, I already got okay. it. Okay, let's go. Silence, mortal. Silence, mortal. You don't even fit. Steve, I right hear. Well, you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Let's do it. Okay, man. Why are you smiling? Same as last time. You a little nervous? Steve, he's the helicopter pilot that we utilize whenever we have repossessions. Let's make sure that we get the log books, that everything's cool. Okay. And so, what uh, do you need the log books for again? Well, you know, the helicopters use us without log books. Without those log books, 
the person that's going to, the individual is going to drive that helicopter off cannot go anywhere, do anything without these books because he has to know the condition, fuel, what's going on with the copter. I mean, for all I know, he'll drive up and it blows up. Make sure we get the log books from the guy. When you guys wait for him, they're going to wait for the guy inside. Okay, and then they'll grab the log books, bring them to me, and then I'll give them to you. I think it's funny though, uh, you know, Lou and Sonia, they get all, Lou gets all 007 James Bond thing, and, and Sonia, she gets all serious. Hey, nice to meet you. Helicopter pilot, how long have you been a helicopter pilot? I don't know, a couple weeks. A couple weeks, huh? <laughs> nah, I've been doing it for years, since it's the early 90s. Well, let's concentrate on what we're gonna go do, man. We're not oh. here to interview, so. So anyway, how long have you been a helicopter pilot? Anyways, I'm trying to have a chat with the guy, and Sonia's like, we need to be serious. No time for interviewing, uh, you know, just, you know, whatever. That's Sonia's game. She wants to be controlling, Miss Manipulative, Miss Power Hungry. That's her game. That's her gig. So I haven't been knocking this guy. Do I have open territory to do what I need to do to get him? Only if it's self-defense. But if the guy, if you feel the guy is gonna run into the helicopter, then you're gonna basically stop him because you don't want him to hurt himself. You know, I mean, after 9/11, uh, it's you know any any, any uh, activity you know trying to take an aircraft. It's going to be considered by, you know, airport police as, uh, you know, they don't know. A terrorist act. Yeah, right. you know, so we got to be really careful that, you know, yeah. a lot of times, you know, they might shoot before they ask questions, you know. So let's try to be really cool. Let's try to avoid any conflict. I just want to get in. I'm already nervous as it is. Basically, we're stealing a helicopter. That's what we're doing. And if they see us doing that since 9-11, you know, they don't, it could get ugly for, for you know, for me. I got the code. I thought you told me they gave you the code, man. I have the code, but I, I'm a little nervous. Relax. Okay. Well, well, we ain't paying you to relax. Come on, let's, let's get the code going. Is that it right there? That's on our 22? Yeah. That's not it. That's not it. It's on our 22 right there. Cool. The number doesn't match. It was Steve's job to get in the helicopter and fly it away, and it was my job to make sure that nobody tried to stop Steve. We knew the helicopter was coming down, so my role basically, uh, well actually my role in Matt's was to be at the office, Matt you know on the sidelines. Yeah. All right, you know what, I'm gonna chill out back here, okay? I don't want him to, I don't want to screw with the guy. Just waiting for the guy to come around and give the signal, hey, the copter's gonna be here anytime soon. And, uh, you know, when the guy walks in, I know what to ask him, and then basically the, the throw down. a trap when you're walking down the forest and they're trying to catch this animal and they have this big old trap on the ground there's only one opportunity that that animal or whatever is going to be walking by so that trap has to make sure that it I mean, this is the guy, right? So that's the right helicopter? Yep. That's the tail number, right? Yeah. Okay, as soon as you go in, Sonia and Matt are right in the office. So as soon as he goes in there, go to the helicopter. I'm gonna go see if I can get the books and start your prep. Hi, how you doing? Not bad. Hi, uh. Hey. Hey. Helicopters up and repo. I need those dog books. Now. Now. Okay, now. Matt, Matt. Give me the dog books. Hold on, hold on. Now. Okay, hold, hold on, Matt. Hold on. Relax, Calvo. Relax. Okay. I will break your neck. Relax. You're staying here until that gets off the ground. Get up, get up, get up. So Matt obviously had to control the guy and uh, he didn't know what was going on. He was really in shock like, why you have me, you know, and he couldn't get out of Matt's lock if he even tried. I came at him like a ton of bricks and I grabbed him, threw him across the desk, got him into a choke and uh, just wanted to put the fear of God into the guy real quick. Steve made his way to the helicopter. I was right behind him. You know, I gave him the log books. He did his, his check made sure everything was good to go. 
Okay, be careful. You guys already know the spot we have to take it to. Take it over there. I'm going to call it and repossessed. Okay, you got it, Steve? Got it. Okay, all right, be careful, man. Relax, relax. Take it easy, man. Relax. Right. I'm gonna let you sit down. I'm gonna let you sit down. You give me any trouble, dude, I'm gonna give you a... Because in a situation like this, it has to be quick, okay? There ain't no time to dilly-dally, okay? And um, we have to sedate the person that's actually coming off that copter. Is this the RO? Yeah. Well... RO. Hey, how you doing? Did they explain to you what's going on here? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know at this point. He's on, he's on there, but... I, he wants to have some information. I told him he's going to have to talk to the owner of the copter. We have a repossession for it. Okay, but what you could do, you're free to leave. So if you want to go, go ahead and just walk, we'll walk you out. You can take off. Yeah, I just told him I don't want him near the helicopter. Uh, the guy was just fine. He may have been shaken up a little bit. He may have been scared. But you know what? If he'd have taken care of his business, he wouldn't have been shaken up and he wouldn't have been scared. <laughs>